All right, hello, greetings, ladies and gentlemen. I have a windsock over my mic that I have in my lapel now, and I am going to perform our flight with this Apex 7-inch frame. As you can see, it has those nice cross arms on there. I believe this was made in Australia. This is an impulse frame. Uh, it is available on uh, Pyrodrone as one of the websites. I got it, I believe, directly from Australia because it wasn't available at other retailers at the time. It took a long time to get here, but uh, I will share with you my thoughts on this frame as soon as we are done with our flight today. This is our first flight of 2023, and I have the DJI 03 Air Unit on here and we will discuss how I was able to mount it on this Apex frame. This is my first Apex frame and how to get the camera out ahead of the props so there are no props in view. Windy out here. Beautiful day today. I'm just cruising around. This is my second flight with the O3 air unit. Watch people out below. This is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. This is this is awestruck. I, I am very I'm just completely blown away by the beauty. Soccer players over there. This thing really moves and it's just. This is beautiful, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Split S. So smooth. I love it. Absolutely love it. How many feet I'm away from home? Three 
miles per hour. And flight per hour. Let's see what that's about. Let's see if I can do some flips. Nice. Very nice. Not bad. I apologize, you know, this flight's not probably the most exciting, but it is, however, beautiful. And uh, like I say, one takes it slowly. When they are testing out a new build. Let's see if I can land it by the camera over here. Blue Light Greetings, greetings. The first Sunday of this 2023. I'd say starting out with a blast. Of course, it ends up that I am uh, upgrading in the winter and of course all bundled up here. Cold out here, but you know what? I'm having a lot of fun. So here we have our Apex frame and this is a seven inch. I bought the Mr. Steel version. I was taken with this frame because it had the cross arms on here and having a lot of experience with seven inches, any kind of reinforcement that can reduce uh, noise and being able to break up the angles and the uh, pendulum out here with the motors is a win in my book. Now I did have to of course do some modifications because the O3 air unit has a bigger camera but I did uh, use some previous prints, modify them for the time being and I extended the camera out where it can, let me show you this side, where it can actually fit uh, it can't fit between the two standoffs here because it's just a little too wide and by extending it out here with these uh, very thick I might add 
prints. It was from another build. Uh, actually added to the advantage to ensure that no props were in view. So the props are literally in line, if in, in fact behind the camera. So that is to me what I wanted, is the ability to have no props in view and not having to uh, carry a GoPro. And so that has been accomplished. Like I say, this is a work in progress, but it has been successful. This is also the first quad I have installed 4.3 on, uh, Betaflight 4.3 and uh, there's a lot more options to it because I'm used to 3.5. I know I'm behind the times, but I had to in order so I could get my OSD on my goggles here. And as you have seen in the comments before, uh, through the video, I'm quite pleased and impressed with it. Um, I'm quite impressed with the satellites uh, in the acquisition. I've never seen that many satellites, 17 to 18 satellites. Can't wait to install 4.4 beta flight to get that return home feature uh, that and actually lands. That is, that is really nice. I know I could do it as a, um, what's it called? Is it, no, as a developer, but as a candidate release and it's probably no problem with that, but I'll just, I'll just wait till it comes out officially. And, uh, but the, uh, I believe I attribute the acquisition of so many satellites to this iFlight uh, GPS module, and that's what they're using on their camera. And so when I heard a reviewer talking about how many satellites they were able to get, I went ahead and just bought the, uh, the their uh, GPS and, and switched out mine from RDQ uh, and put this on there. And I'm very impressed with it. So I'm, I'm building this up as my long range uh, high definition quad, which means I'm probably going to install uh, crossfire on it eventually but right now I just kept with the RC link as they improve the situation with it dropping out if your video come out with the latest update as of, as of the date of this video so uh, we'll see how that goes I'm also going to um, switch this antenna out with uh, the antennas that these mount here can support uh, I'll just wait till they come out we'll see but right now I'm not doing really long range testing I'll just wait until they come out with uh, perhaps a better antenna. We'll see. You know, the community works, but it, it works great now. I mean, I flew all the way around here. This is not exactly a big area, but it's not a small area either. So I found no issues with the uh, RC link as well. So I'm very pleased with that. All right, so my next section of this video is commenting on the Apex frame. The Apex frame, the seven inch frame, the Impulse RC frame. Um, there, I was disappointed that they didn't come with some form of instructions or at least a assembly diagram. So I had to figure out a lot of where to put the nut plates and what side of the nut plates to put it on. So uh, in this video or at the end of this video, I've included some assembly of how I assembled it. And hopefully that'll help people with when they acquire this frame. This is a real beast of a frame. Uh, it's actually uh, wider than my other frame, as you can see. So it's got lots of room here for your props, and then they come together right here. So I don't know whether you can see that or not. Um, I'm uh, quite pleased with the sturdiness of it and the setup of it. Uh, it's just the assembly could have been a lot easier. It took me a while to assemble it because you have to make sure that the plates are in the correct orientation and there was very there was no information on how, what that orientation was I had to look at the uh, stock photos that are on the website and to figure it out so um, it took me a while maybe for you it will be uh, not so much I mean it is my first apex frame perhaps this is a common style for apex frames but um, I was unfamiliar with that so but otherwise I do love the construction of it I love these uh, buttons here to allow a more of a force to be placed on here and they've got a, a little tiny wedge in here that needs to be put there correctly so when the arms mate to it they don't move I don't see or could detect any movement in these arms as a result so uh, otherwise I also installed the uh, air the O3 air unit with these uh, screws here 
I have them on aluminum standoffs here and uh, it raises it up, it allows it to be secured. Now, of course, you could do 3D prints, and, but I chose to uh, do the aluminum standoffs just because I like the, uh, the sturdiness of them. Otherwise, I did attempt to make this a more or less clean build um, with, uh, and in routing the wires, there's just, it allowed with a lift up, how it lifted up the air unit here, I was allowed to run the GPS wires as well as the O3 wires underneath here. So they weren't on top or between here, making it look kind of messy. So I really like that feature. Uh, all the parts that I've used for this quad will be in the description below. And if you have any experiences with this frame or any questions, uh, please do not hesitate to drop them in the comments below. So with that, that wraps up this video and uh, I expect to be doing more flights with this. I just uh, don't have any more charged batteries. So uh, otherwise, I will uh, see you all later. I will also send the tuning of this to uh, the black box data to someone to kind of help me dial in the uh, tune of it. And uh, so it would even be smoother. Other than that, I'll see you all ladies and gentlemen later.